Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brandon here, BB's iPod Touch Help, and today I'll be going over the hardware and software tour of the new iPod Touch 4th generation, uh, which I just unboxed as you saw in my previous video. Um, so first of all, let's go ahead and go over the hardware. Let's get right into this. Uh, first, you have the camera up in the front used for FaceTime and uh, video calling or, um, you know, if you want to take a picture from up front, you can switch in and out between that, which I'll, I may have already shown it, but I'll show it again uh, when I get into the software detail. So um, on top, you have your sleep wake button or otherwise known as your power button up here. It's slightly lower down than it was from the previous model, I guess, for not not getting turned on um, in your pocket or something. I guess it's just going to take some getting used to. Uh, what I'm talking about is it's slanted right here. And it's kind of harder to press and it doesn't stick out as much as it used to. So. Also, we have the uh, volume rockers on the side. On the left-hand side, we have the volume rockers are now split, and they're not together uh, like the old model. On the bottom, we have, uh, well, first of all, we have the home button there, obviously. Then we have our, our USB connector, our speaker, and our 3.5-millimeter uh, headphone jack. And on the right side, we have nothing. And on the back, we have our camera right here, which does shoot in 720p. HD for video, which is amazing. It shoots up to 30 frames per second uh, and still photos uh, with 960 by 720 is the uh, is the size of the pictures, the still pictures that are taken. So um, also vi uh, video geotagging and photo geotagging is involved in this too. So if you want to like see your location of where you take the videos and pictures, just like in the iPhone. So that's pretty much it for the hardware. Let's go ahead and get into the software. You got your what you're all used to, the slide to unlock. You can make it a passcode if you want. Um, let's go ahead and get into, let's just go straight to the camera because I know everybody wants to see the camera. Um, now I have taken some pictures, I'll have a video later on that. But anyways, you see right here, you can just, you get what's right in front of you, it's self-explanatory, you just press this to, to um, take the picture. And also this feature up here switches the cameras around, so if you want to see me, you want to see from this camera. If you want to take a picture from this side, just go like this, and you'll see me, what's up guys? Um, and then also down here you have your switch between photo and video it switches out pretty fast so that's pretty much it for the photos uh, I know some of you a lot of you probably have had an iPhone or seen a lot on the iPhone so you know um, how to configure that also the front camera is, is good for if you have Facebook so I have Facebook down here so I can uh, upload photos straight from here to Facebook over Wi-Fi which is pretty cool also we have FaceTime there is an application for FaceTime right there um, if you want to FaceTime me, I guess that's what you call it. Um, uh, I'm not really sure how you do it. I guess I contact. Um, I guess you do it by email address. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you can you can contact me. I'll have my uh, contact information down below. Uh, I mean, I, I probably won't even accept it. I probably shouldn't have even just said that. But I have nobody to FaceTime with, so I can't really test it. So. Um, yeah, if, if 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 you if I know you here on YouTube, then um, just, just send me a PM. I, I might want to get a FaceTime set up. That'd be pretty cool. So also, uh, let's just go to the settings. Actually, no, let's go to the Game Center first. I know a lot of people have been wondering about Game Center. If you want to add me on Game Center, um, just type that's my nickname. But if you if you want to find me, just just search. Um, I guess you do it by. Let's see if I wanted to add a friend. You do it by email or nickname. So just enter my nickname, which is right here, xkilla dash b, just like that, xkilla and then a dash and then a b. So you can add me on there. I haven't had any games yet, um, so I really don't know how that works. But uh, I guess we'll see when that time comes. So let's just go ahead and go into the settings. This will probably be the last thing. Um, we have our everything is everything is standard, like just like on the old models, except for FaceTime, which is just you know your account information. Um, so nothing really changed. Um, another thing I noticed was that the percentage of the battery is not up in the top right. Uh, I tried to see if I could change it. I didn't really look too long, but um, I, I really didn't see that you could. Um, but I'll, I'll look more into that. Again, I didn't really look too hard. So anyways, you can also change wallpaper as you guys know, um, which is pretty cool. You can do it from your camera roll as well. So be looking out for a um, a video and picture quality test. I have those uh, being made right now. So look out for that next. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this has been a hardware and software tour of the iPod Touch fourth generation. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you later. Peace.